What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord and I just wanted to do a quick video showing the update um, the ice cream sandwich update from Sprint if you have a Epic 4G Touch it is coming um, they're rolling it out so if you don't have it you should have it within a few days there is a way to manually get the update um, you can go on XDA and they have a zip file that you put on your SD card and you just go into the stock recovery and you apply it. If you have Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're not going to be able to get the update. It's not going to work. So, if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery on your system, you need to remove it um, to a factory reset. Um, you can the easiest way just do a get an Odin file and just Odin it back to EL29. You have to be in EL29. You can be rooted but you cannot have any stock applications removed so if you have you know some people get rid of bloatware that's not going to work you're not going to be able to apply the update but um, pretty much I'm going to do a quick little overview on ice cream sandwich this is the official build right here it uh... it looks like touch with it looks pretty similar to what you've seen before so it's not a whole lot of differences so it's not a whole lot to go over but first the lock screen the lock screen now it has this ring and you swipe outside the ring and it will unlock the phone um, right now um, this is the stock ice cream sandwich launcher but uh, when you first get it you will have the touch with launcher so it's going to look exactly the same how to get the ice cream sandwich launcher is really easy you need to go to menu you need to go to settings you need to go down to applications you need to go over to all and you're going to find where it says TW launcher And once you find TW Launcher, you're going to uh, click on it. And then you're going to go down to Clear Defaults. Mine's already grayed out because I already cleared it. And once you hit Clear Defaults, you hit the Home button. And you can select the Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. This is the Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher, as you can tell when you click on it. This is the stock ice cream sandwich. Um, your widgets are in here or in the app drawer. Also you have the Google search bar up at the top. Um, if you use the T TouchWiz launcher it's exactly the same as it was. Um, you go to applications there are no widgets in the app drawer. There's no animation. It's just the basic default TouchWiz launcher. Um, the phone application is exactly the same, except for they did add uh, your logs and then your favorites up here. But it's pretty much exactly the same. You're not going to get a whole lot different. Contacts are pretty similar. You cannot swipe left and left and right through your through your contacts, so don't so don't even try. You can search your contacts. You can get up there, but you can't. Um, browser is a little bit different. We will go to the browser. Uh, where, where are we at? Browser. You now do have um, at the top. You have to get to your bookmarks, and then you have to get switch between your windows. And it is not the stock ice cream sandwich. It is the touch whiz. So you cannot swipe swipe away. You have to hit the little the little X, the little minus button. So um, besides that, uh, you, you are, your Google applications will be updated. Um, there should be an update as soon as you log on to Google Play. Your Google Play should update, and then um, your YouTube app the Gmail and everything should be the ice cream sandwich versions 
So for instance, I'll click on YouTube and this is the new YouTube style. This new YouTube app, so so that so that's pretty cool. Um, your messaging app, unfortunately, is the exact same. It's your basic TouchWiz, um, TouchWiz application. There's no changes in it. Um, your calendar is still your TouchWiz calendar, so you're not going to get the the nice Google calendar where you can pinch the zoom and go through that. Um, so because you don't have the stock uh, camera widget, uh, I mean sorry, the stock calendar, you're not going to get the Google Calendar widget, which I really do miss because that was my one of my favorite widgets that I use. Um, you have the touch widget versions and Unfortunately, if you decide to go to the stock launcher, like the ice cream sandwich launcher, um, when you look in your widgets here, you do not have a calendar widget in here at all. The closest thing you have to a calendar widget is uh, this TouchWiz um, to, uh, what one is it, Agenda to, to Today. And it's kind of an ugly widget, and it's not even really center right. I mean, it's this is all you get, so you can't scroll through. So, and all uh, I mean, it's a the update that this phone seems very very snappy. It was snappy before, so I didn't ever had any, any issues really. So the phone feels snappy. I mean, going through your home screens is pretty fast. Swiping through your applications is is quick. I mean, when you hit something to open up, it opens up immediately. The browser is really, really smooth still. The TouchWiz browser has always been smooth. The scrolling seems to be a little bit faster. Um, love it or hate it. Some people like the fast scrolling. Some people hate it. I actually like it because, for instance, when I'm going through my Google Music, my, uh, my Play and Play Music, I have a shit ton of music. So when I go to my albums, I can scroll all the way down very, very fast to get to the bottom. Whereas uh, with the regular scrolling, I'm sitting there having to scroll and it takes like 10 seconds just to get to the bottom of, of, of my list. See, so if you don't like the scrolling, I mean, you can control the scrolling. If you swipe slow, it'll go slow. If you go a little bit faster, it will go faster, but it 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 goes fast. The scrolling is extremely fast. Um, that's pretty. I'm not really uh, noticing that the calculator. Like I say, everything is touch is touch with touch with calculator. Your phone on your camera is still the stock touch with camera. No uh, real changes here. Um, your clock application is still the TouchWiz. It's not the it's not the Google ca uh, clock application. Gallery, unfortunately, is the TouchWiz gallery. So you st you know they just uh, go uh, touch. Sorry, Samsung decided to keep everything as. Touch with as possible. They kept everything. They changed ice cream sandwich from the core, and they really did keep it. So, if you're familiar with Touch Wiz and you like Touch Wiz, then you'll love the ice cream sandwich update. If you hate Touch Wiz, then you're not going to be very happy with the ice cream sandwich update. Uh, you, it is nice for the updated applications and everything, but you know, um, there is a way to root this. I have not rooted it yet. Um, I will be rooting this pretty soon and uh, as of right now there's not a good way to get a clockwork mod recovery on her yet there will be shortly as of right now I would just you need, you're gonna have to hold on just maybe a day or two until uh, clockwork mod is available on this So anyway, if you like the oh yeah, I'm sorry. And one 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 other thing, 
Uh, you can swipe away your no your notifications now. So when you notification, you can swipe them away. So that's uh, pretty cool right there. You have any questions? Go ahead and leave a comment, and I will respond to uh, questions or leave a comment. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Twitter at Second Accord, and all my videos are have links from Twitter right to my YouTube page. Uh, you go through my page, you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on Epic Touch. I'm out.